Peace and love, fellow builders, and welcome to Construction Simulator News Update. On February 15th, we got some new stuff like Update 10 and the release of Year 2 Season Pass. So let's dive right into what's new in Construction Simulator. Starting off with the Year 2 Season Pass, I'm going to throw up the picture that they gave us. Ba boom, right there for you. And as you see, we it says machine says brand new cosmetic pack so let's see what they had to say about it good news we just released our year two season pass for construction simulator on the digital stores in addition to the three upcoming vehicle dlcs with brand new vehicles and construction machines for your fleet and the cosmetic number three the package also includes an upcoming completely new huge construction site for the game's european map that's going to be exciting i have not even touched the european map yet though so we're gonna have to batten down the hatches and start building faster um and not to forget, as a bonus, owners of the Year 2 Pass receive access to the exclusive Year 2 Season Pass pickup truck with space for up to four players. That's a lot of... that's Right now, we can only fit two people in each vehicle, so that's pretty stellar. Um, yes, up to four players. So get to work, and your set of upcoming DLCs at the lucrative bundle price with more than 10% discount whoa or yeah 10% discount so that was all about the um well included in the year two as well that what they didn't tell us was what uh some of those things are let's just take a little closer look at this uh we got the labear pack machines new machines that will be coming there um and a brand like a brand new brand of machines so whatever that could be maybe we already have bobcat in the game so it's not that one it would have to be one that we don't have yet which i don't even i can't even think of um but then we also have a new machine pack so that's going to be just brand new machines for a specific brand that we already have which last year the the creators of the game were at some bobcat event where they were testing out bobcat machines so maybe that's my prediction about that new machine pack is maybe it's going to be a full bobcat machine pack so that would be cool because i do enjoy the bobcat machines uh i do I, we definitely could use more of them in the game uh, in my opinion and also once you buy the year two season pass you will get an exclusive brand new pickup truck which is in the little video that i've been showing this is the trailer for the year two pass i have the sound off because of copyright um reasons and yeah go get yours today Moving on to the number 10 update, update number 10, available now, introducing additional game improvements and a brand new differential lock function for vehicles. We just released the latest update for Construction Simulator in addition to bug fixes and general game improvements. Update number 10 also introduces a differential lock function to most vehicles, which helps in situations where a vehicle is stuck by increasing traction on rough terrains so for the new feature the differential lock helps with situations of when the vehicle gets stuck however it increases the turning radius depending on the vehicle so that's interesting so those articulating vehicles i would assume that would help with um, the differential lock is not intended for her use of high speeds and uh, disengages automatically when driving faster than five kilometers the default key binding is y or z for keyboards for other input devices the action for the differential lock can be assigned in the key binding settings so this is how you put in the differential if you're on controller so gamepad and 
You can pick from ISO, SA, or Arcade. I'm on ISO. And as you see, I have all these. They're already preset when you have a controller. But if you work your way down past character machine functions, you will get to differential lock. And how you do it is, as you see, you hold down A to assign, and then you just press on your gamepad whatever you want. So B is what I picked because that was the only one that I could find that didn't have something assigned to it. So I'll, I'll try it with horn. Assign new to it horn. And if you already have it, as you see, it's for attach cargo. It's already in use. Then that can't be used. So I'll just do back to default. Let's take a look at the diff lock. And if you look right here, if you look at my cursor on the, beside the speedometer, right here, you'll see it pop up. See, diff lock on, diff lock off, diff lock on diff lock off. Here, let's see. So now we're stuck. Diff lock on. Almost got us unstuck. Now we're just, now we're just a teeter-totter. This is ridiculous. With the diff lock, you can use it on this one. You can use it on this one. This one. And even this one. Got the diff lock on. Got this one. So basically, you can do it on every machine you can think of in the game of Construction Simulator. So, in addition to that new awesome differential feature we got some vehicle improvements uh, one being the asphalt pavers got uh, fixes with slopes and ramps which I've shown many times I have problems with the asphalt pavers going up the trailer ramps so now that should be a bit better um, the blade on the motor graders can now be lowered further so that's cool um, and also some game improvements, added various animals to the spaceport setting. So that's an interesting visual improvements in the spaceport setting. Um, and many more. I will leave the full patch notes for you guys in a link down below. Do check it out. And that's all I got for you today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do share to a friend, give a thumbs up, and above all, subscribe. Donate to the channel so I can get these year passes <laughs> for Construction Simulator and SnowRunner. And also, keep spreading that love and peace, everyone. Bye-bye.